So, Brian, as we watch this here, and again, we can start breaking down hands here, although there hasn't been a super uh, lot of action these last handful outside of the ace eight and the twos. But, you know, this, like you just mentioned, this is a new record, right? 447. At, at, a at, Minnesota State record. For sure. What, what, what's the limit here? Because, you know, we keep thinking that the, uh, that the poker bubble kind of burst and, and that uh, I think across the country maybe there's some places that are having some, uh, some issues. But for whatever reason, this tour and uh, all the stops that you're making, you keep breaking state records, and this is the biggest one in Minnesota. So it, it looks like the tournament poker at least is extremely healthy still. Yeah, this uh, I would say over, even over the last two months that we have got, taken it to an entirely new level. And we thought to draw 300 in the upper Midwest for a 1K event is very difficult to do. Um, we're starting to make it look easy now, which is great. Um, but for a long time, we were just excited to get over 300. And then we uh, started to have some events here that were 360s, 370s. At that time, we thought that was as big as it was ever going to get uh, and, and that we were maximizing the situation. But uh, recently here, yeah, we, as you mentioned, we've, we've broken three consecutive state records in Wisconsin, Iowa, which we broke the WSOP circuit state record there, which is pretty cool. Um, and, and we're talking state records for a major for attendance for a major event, which is, sure. of course, anything over a $1,000 buy-in. But... By the way, this is kind of interesting, not to cut you off, but obviously Lawrence yeah. jams with eights, and Lazar calls him, and now Getz wakes up behind him with the exact same hand as Lazar, and now we'll have to see if, uh, if he plays it any differently. What do you do here, Blake, with ace-queen when uh, you have an all-in and a call in front of you with ace-queen off? Going to the muck. Yep, fold every time. Uh, and you totally agree with Lazar just flatting there, too? Nope. You would have, you would have shoved to isolate, uh, or at least raised I mean, I to isolate. I have to <laughs> analyze the exact stacks behind me, but mm -hmm. I'm probably raising in that spot. I, yeah, I, that's what I would do. Oh. <laughs> oh. I guess they should have played. Huh? This is when I like you say yeah two eights. And I, clear. There's one eight in the deck, oh. and he there hit it. it. Is. That's why I wanted to have two eights. Wow. Good pull. Good pull. Yeah, and one of the other wow. eights was dead. They don't know right. that. At they the don't table. know that. They think there's two. There was really Th one. There was really one. So you had the old two percent there in the river. It's all you need. Right. Well, we've all been there. When Tony comes back and watches this, it's going to hurt even more when he sit when he sees that there's only one eight in the deck. Yeah. I'm guessing in his poker career, though, he may have hit a one outer. So. Yeah. And technically, uh, Lawrence got in ahead.